welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look you are not a conspiracy theorist you are just woke there's some people out here who call everybody a conspiracy theorist i ain't gonna even lie some of y'all chosen ones y'all call people conspiracy theorists as well people are like you got truth and then you got the lies and then you got everything in between okay people are not conspiracy theorists just because they're woke just because like it's a million and gazillion things that it can be people are not conspiracy theorists because they are optimistic you are not a conspiracy theorist you are just optimistic like you're you're woke like you explore the possibilities there's some people who stuck in their ways oh this is what it is this is what they say it is this is and then there's people like no nah, that's a little sketchy like no nah, this don't make sense the math ain't math and this don't add up that's you you are not conspiracy theorists you are just woke we are living in the matrix we are living in a matrix that is controlled. We got these controllers, don't even know who they are, what they look like. And um, people are just moving. They're moving on autopilot. They're moving like robots. They're moving in the herd like sheep. You, on the other hand, you're the black sheep. So you don't move like everyone else. You don't think like everyone else. You actually test your thoughts like you test the theories that are put out there you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it you're just someone who's like who thinks with their brain you're someone who thinks for themselves like you're able to think um to think outside of the box you're able to like you're a really good problem solver you're not a conspiracy theorist because you really want to know the truth like some people, they hear something, they don't question it. They they rock with it, they roll with it. You on the other hand, you got to question everything. You questions everything. I don't care how small it is. You're you're questioning it, and you're seeing if it makes sense to you. Does it make sense? Is the math mathing? Mathing? <laughs> Does it add up? You're not a conspiracy theorist because of it. Like, you recognize that we're living in a world full of lies. Even if it's written in the book, it could be a lie. Even if you see it right in front of your face, it could be a lie. You question everything. Even if you heard it with your own uh, ears, it's no telling if it's the truth or not. It's no telling if it's the truth or not. You're not a conspiracy theorist because of it. You're woke. Like, you're woke in this world full of people who are asleep. Full of many people who are asleep, majority of people who are asleep, you are awoke. And you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it. Like, you recognize that darn near everything that they tell us, everything that we're taught, is a lie. And if it's not a lie, it's misconstrued. A lot of times, information gets misconstrued. What do you think they're going to be saying about us 100 years from now? Do you think they're going to say it went down like this? Do you think it's going to be like this? Do you think they're going to say Michael Jackson was black? <laughs> or is they going to say he was white? Like, I was trying to tell somebody, and the funny thing is, this is the first time I had got into, uh, let's say, a deep conversation with somebody who's uh, deeply Christian. And I was just saying, like, the information, he, he was telling me that it was some information that they didn't put out there because of how the world might react to it or something like that. And I'm like, well, why don't you think that they would put it out there? Probably because it's truth in what they want to put out there. And if they put the truth out there, people are going to lose their minds because they've been fed a lot this whole time. That's what I was trying to get him to understand, but it's like he didn't understand it. He didn't understand it. You're not a conspiracy theorist because people don't question the world and you question the world you question stuff you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it you just somebody who like you're a truth seeker <laughs> like let's call you that let's call you somebody who's open-minded somebody who explores the possibilities you're not just stuck in one way oh no that had to be it 
oh no there's a million different i'd be like it's 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 more stuff it's more stuff that it can be it really is like you see things for what they are you're able to read uh people places things very well you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it like because you can see things that the average person can't see that just means that you you powerful <laughs> like you powerful you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it you're very powerful because of it you're very powerful because you can see things for what they are you can see things before they come you can see things that things aren't right like you can feel things being off that doesn't make you a conspiracy theorist it doesn't make you a conspiracy theorist because um you come up with a educated guess or educated conclusion about a situation why can't it just be an educated guess well other people do it it's the educated guess a lot of people be walking around here assuming you do an educated guess and you call it a conspiracy theorist you're not a conspiracy theorist because of it you're just woke you're woke in this matrix and a lot of people are asleep. They are sleeping. They are asleep at the wheel. They're driving, but they're on autopilot. They driving on autopilot. They don't see what's in front of them. You see what's in front of you. That doesn't make you a conspiracy theorist. Like, in a lot of this stuff that you may talk about or that you may believe, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is right there. It's right there in plain sight, but so many people are blind. They can't even see what's in front of them. You can see what's in front of you. You can see far beyond what's in front of you. You can see the unseen. You didn't felt the unfelt. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, you didn't felt stuff. Like, you didn't felt the unseen. You have. And a lot of people haven't. So they look at you as a conspiracy theorist. They look at you as a conspiracy theorist, not knowing, like, this world is quite evil. Like, a lot of stuff be going on that don't benefit us. But it can get misconstrued and it can be perceived as if it's for our greater good. You can see right through that. But you but you a, a conspiracy theorist. Like, no. Nah, let's just, if we want to label it, let's just label it as you can see through the bull. You can see through the bull. You can see right through it, and a lot of people can't, so they don't know how to say anything else but besides, like, you look cuckoo. You look crazy, okay? You look crazy that you believe that. You look crazy for your thought process. They think that you're crazy. They think that you're crazy. The type of stuff that you believe in, like, the type of stuff that, like, just how powerful you believe that you are, they think you're crazy. You're not a conspiracy theorist. You're just woke in this matrix. Like, you're woke. You see the, you see things for what they are. Like, you see life for what it is. You see it. It sucks. Ain't much that you can do. But besides raise your vibrations and elevate yourself, elevate your life. But you see it and the moment that you speak on it, to a person who isn't there, who don't have that mental capacity to understand and to grasp certain things, um, they're gonna call you a conspiracy theorist. And this is no offense to no one, anyone who uses the word. Like I said, some of y'all chosen ones, some of y'all ones who are quote unquote woke even use it as well. I personally, I don't use it because you never know. I'm that open to the fact that you just never know. Like, I don't put nothing past nobody. I don't put nothing past no situation. I don't put nothing past nothing, okay? <laughs> nothing past nothing. And I like that. I like that about me. I like that. Um, yeah, I like, I like to think like that. So I think your thought process, um, the way that you question things, is perfectly fine. It's like, it's a good thing. Take it as a compliment. When people call you a conspiracy theorist, just take it as a compliment. Like, oh, that's that open-minded person. Like, yeah, just look, just call me open-minded. <laughs> just call me, um, just say that I can see things 
for what they are. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all of the members on the channel. I see y'all. Uh, that's say if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> stay spiritually used, stay spiritually attuned, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.